After spending a few days exploring the capital of Yerevan, seeing the sights and taking day trips into the mountains, you can extend your vacation with an excursion to the village of Tatev. And getting there is an adventure in itself. Wow, it's so beautiful. The Tatev Funicular, also known as the Wings of Tatev, holds the Guinness World Record for the longest non-stop double-track cable car, which means incredible views that will literally take your breath away. Ooh, we are so high! This amazing aerial tram takes you on the trip of a lifetime, traveling at 23 miles an hour for an unforgettable 10 minutes. At one point, you'll be a thousand feet above the Boraton River Gorge and its rural village below. When you reach the top, you'll be on the edge of an ancient rocky cliff surrounded by gorgeous green mountains. Wow, that was one of the most amazing tram rides I have ever taken. And if you thought that was great, wait till you see what's next. Perched on the edge of the gorge is the medieval monastery of Tatev. Its centuries-old stone block walls stand tall, a necessary feature of the past, but not so formidable to present-day tourist invasions. This is beautiful. How old is it? Uh, 10th century. And the name of it is? Tatev. In an Armenian, Tatev means wings. Get me up to God with my wings. And how they find that name? Because <laughs> we're up on the mountain? Yeah, no, I guess. No, the real story is that when they were constructing this church, a worker fell down into the canyon. And then he prayed to God. He said, God, give me wings so I can get up. And, come, and I, legend says he came up with wings. So it's Tatev. Tatev. Remarkably, the monastery has been standing for more than a thousand years, surviving invasions, attacks, and earthquakes. Not simply a monastery, this was also the biggest and most advanced university in Armenia during medieval times. In the 14th century, it not only taught math and religion, it contributed to the advancement of philosophy, music, astronomy, and science. As you're exploring, definitely look into the original oil mill, now fully restored as an interactive museum. So Laura, what's this place about? I actually know. This is an oil mill. They used to put seeds in this thing right here. They'd get an animal to push the stick around. The stone would go around it would crush the seeds to make oil. Now, do you know what kind of oil they would make? Uh, tell us. I have no idea. <laughs> Sesame, linseed, and hemp. And what did they use the oil for? For hummus? No, not for suntan <laughs> lotion either. It was for food, for candles, and then when the enemies came, they would boil it and pour it over the wall. Oh, just like the movies. Exactly. The oil mill was built outside the wall of the monastery so that private clients could use it without interrupting the serenity of life in the monastery. 